So let's solve the problem. So we want to test whether this function is harmonic. So u of x, y is harmonic if and only if partial squared u partial x squared plus partial squared u partial y squared is zero. So that's what we need to test that the sum of the second partial derivatives of the function with respect to x and with respect to y sums to zero. So you see our problem. So uh, here, u of x, y is given by e raised to the power minus two x, y sine of x squared minus y squared. Now, because these are product of two functions to get the derivative, so let's call this one u, all this other part v, by product rule we have u prime v plus v prime u. So partial u, partial x. Derivative of this function with respect to x, first we use chain rule and differentiate this power with respect to x. So we get minus two y, and then e raised power minus two x y, multiply by sine of x squared minus y squared. And then plus derivative of this function. So the first we differentiate this bracket, we get two x. Derivative of cosine sine function is cosine. And then we multiply by this e raised power minus two x y. So when you factor out e raised power two minus two x y partial u partial x will be two x cos of x squared minus y squared minus two y <coughs> sine of x squared minus y squared. All this you multiply by e raised power minus two x y. So next we differentiate this same same function with respect to x. So partial squared u partial x squared will be now this part here i want to let all this square bracket to be my u and this one to be my v so u prime uh, differentiating this one also this part i have to use product rule twice so this will give me two cos x squared minus y squared and then plus but they will be minus because i have to get this one so it'll be two x derivative of this part and then times this two x and then cos function will be to get sine function and then so I'll have done the derivative of this part, then plus or minus. So derivative of this function here with respect to x, because this is the only term that has an x or derivative of this one will give me two x. I'll have minus two by two is four x y and then cosine of x squared minus y squared and then I multiply this one by e raised to the power minus two 
x, y. Then the derivative of this one will give me minus 2y e raised power minus 2xy. Then I multiply by this bracket 2x cosine of x squared minus y squared and then minus 2y sine of x squared minus y squared. So this will give me partial squared u partial x squared. So we factor out e raised power minus 2xy. And then you see at this point here, I'll have, I can start with this minus x, 4xy cos of x squared minus y squared. So I've written this term. And then next plus four, So this we have okay so let's let's just arrive I'll start by the first one on the left so we'll have so after factoring out it is minus two so this first term will be two cos of x squared minus y squared. Here I'll have minus four x squared sine of x squared minus y squared. Here I have minus four x y cos x squared minus y squared. And then you have a minus sign here. So this two y by this one, I'll get minus for x y cos of x squared minus y squared and then minus minus is plus so four y squared sine of x squared minus y squared so that's what i have as my partial squared u partial x squared So then we can put like terms together. Uh, we say partial squared u, partial x squared is given by e raised to minus two x y into two cos x squared minus y squared. Now I'll uh, say this and this will have minus eight x y cosine of x squared minus y squared and then minus four x squared sine x squared minus y squared and then plus four y squared sine x squared minus y squared. So that's the expression for the partial squared u partial x squared. And then uh, remember u is given by e raised to minus two x y and then sine of x squared minus y squared. So let's start now getting partial derivatives with respect to, so let's call this one actually question one. So partial u 
partial y also is product rule so taking this one as my u this one as my v derivative of this part with respect to y will be minus 2x e raised to power minus 2xy then you multiply by this sine of x squared minus y squared and then derivative of sine is cosine but this part when you differentiate with respect to y you get negative 2y and then e raised to power minus 2xy and then cosine of x squared minus y squared so i can factor out e raised power 2xy this will give me minus 2x sine of x squared minus y squared minus 2y and then e raised power okay so actually i can put out that uh, that's two which happens to be on every term so factoring out two e raised power minus 2xy then i'll have minus or let me factor out the negative so all the terms in the brackets will be positive so that my partial u partial y will be minus 2 e raised power minus 2xy and then x sine of x squared minus y squared plus y cos of x squared minus y squared is what I'll have in the brackets. And then I also use product rule again. So partial squared u, partial y squared. So this with respect to y, I'll get now four x e raised power minus 2xy into x sine of x squared minus y squared plus y cos of x squared minus y squared and then plus then this derivative of this function with respect to y uh, this first part I'll get minus 2xy and then uh, cosine of x squared minus y squared and then plus this part here I use product tool so I'll have cos of x squared minus y squared and then minus derivative of cosine is minus sine and then this one will be minus so i'll have minus then y and then sine of x squared minus y squared but then i multiply by the derivative of this is minus 2y and then you multiply this by negative 2 e raised power minus 2xy so which will be factoring out e raised power minus 2xy will give you so forth by this i'll get 4x squared sine x squared minus y squared forth by this i'll get plus 4xy cosine of x squared plus y minus y squared
So four x y cosine of x squared minus y squared. And then there's a negative sign here. So negative times negative plus. So plus four x y cosine of x squared minus y squared minus two times this I'll get now minus two cosine of x squared minus y squared. And then minus minus is plus. So I'll have two. I remember here I'll have this minus and this minus is plus. So this minus will now give me a minus sign. So I get, I remember y times 2y is 2y squared then by 2, so it'd be 4, 4y squared sine x squared minus y squared. So okay, so this uh, the sign here, so this is minus two y, and then we had minus, okay, that's fine. So then now, call this one equation, equation two. So one plus two. So we'll have partial squared u. And then plus partial squared u partial x squared, uh, partial y squared. Now let's just now see the term in equation one, so we have two cos of x squared minus y squared is positive. And here in this equation two is negative. So these two terms will cancel out. So we'll not have a cos function in the function. And then minus eight x y, but here we have Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, this when you simplify, you'll have e raised to the power minus two x y into four x squared sine of x squared minus y squared. This plus this will be eight of them. Now positive eight x y cos of x squared minus y squared, and then minus two cos of x squared minus y squared and then minus four y squared sine of x squared minus y squared. When you add this equation and the equation one, you should actually get zero because similar terms in these two equations have opposite signs. For instance, you see here, this one has positive sign, two cos, two cos, and then here, this one has a negative sign. So, we have done with terms of this kind, minus eight x y, but here we have positive eight x y. So adding those two eliminates those terms. Here we have minus four x squared, while here we have plus four x squared. So you will have adding those two, you have eliminated this term, and then plus four y squared, while here we have negative four y squared. So also the sum of those terms will give you zero. And so zero times e raised power negative two x y gives you zero. And that's how you are supposed to prove that. Thank you.